Hello everybody, and this is Norman Swanson coming back at you for an episode of Clash Royale, and this game is pretty popular now, it's been out for months and months, maybe half a year, maybe a year, I don't know yet, but, um, so recently I opened a magical chest and a couple silver chests, nothing too exciting out of those, but I did receive a new card, and that would be the guards. Now, the guards are a, I wouldn't say they're a really bad card, but I, I personally wouldn't use them because I've uh, had to defend against them, and it takes, it's really easy to knock those babies out, so uh, I'm not going to throw them in a the deck. Um, I received a couple uh, minions here, the mega minions. And I have used those before, but uh, not to a great extent. Um, so these are my cards that I have. Um, and it's sorted by the uh, rarity. I've collected uh, 49 out of 63. Um, and this deck is my main deck that I've been using for a while now. Um, I'm at 2,080 trophies in my highest is uh 2195 so i have been going down a bit but um that's due to just like stupid mistakes or any anything like that um th now this deck right here got me to the royal arena but hasn't really been successful in there so i kind of threw in some other stuff and um you really need to prepare be prepared for anything so you gotta go for your defenses and then you gotta hit up some air troops along with uh, ground troops. And then you gotta have that steady flow of goblins going through. And then you just gotta weaken minion hordes and take out armies of skeletons with the zap. And that's been really good. I've done that. So when I opened my chest, um, I went along and did a battle. And that battle was really, really, really close. And the reason I couldn't show you guys is because I had the sound on the game too loud, so you can even hear my voice. So it's pretty loud right now, my voice is like, you might be sure to see it, but uh, I'll turn that right back down. And I'll just show you a quick replay, I won 2-1, and let's just watch it for a little bit. Um, I'll uh, fast forward it a bit. Um... So he threw his goblin barrels in there, I took those out pretty quick, um, it looked like I was going to have a good push coming up here, but then um, he threw his barrels there, and you can see up there he has a mirror, which I found out later, um, I took out his skeleton pretty quickly with my wizard, um, waited for the hog, he got out there, and got a lot of hits on it, like a couple hits on the tower, Distracting it, threw down another goblin hat. Uh, so right now it looks like he's gonna beat me, but nothing that I can't really manage to. Uh, he throws down another guard, and I put down my Valkyrie to take that out pretty quickly. We got another push down, and then he takes that out pretty fast, and I just got low. And so uh, I'm starting to get a few hits. He just keeps throwing his guards at my power and he'll probably throw another one soon. Now he won't. So then I take out his power there and get some hits on the spawn and he takes out my power, which isn't too bad because we have the we have the hits done by the fire guard here. His fire takes that out and uh, gives it out pretty fast. I feel like I'm going to stop him to get a one hit on minion guy. Um, he had a, he had a strong push going for the, uh, stealth man, I just ripped that out real fast, I'm not even too worried about the, the stuff that got to be done. So, we are in overtime, and this is when it started getting pretty close, because I had more hits on his power, I'm taking this out pretty fast, it's getting close, so we only got 15 seconds left. And then it looks like I'm gonna get it, but then I just grab my troop there. And I throw down a hog right there. Now that placement is pretty decent. Two seconds left. Hog gets in there. 
gets the hooks and then the goblins come in and start throwing their little arrows. That's why you gotta have that goblin hook there. So that that one is a master right there. So one second left. That was a pretty close one. And I will and I won that gold chest out of that. And uh this is the clan goblin Gary. I'm in it right now. We're pretty active. We have uh Louie Casbo, that's White Glaive. He is my YouTube friend. We hang out a lot and uh, we do a lot of friendly battles in this clan. Now, uh, I will just uh, break you through a battle now, a live battle right now. Level 8. Um, just by this guy's name, I can kind of tell he's a. Uh, might be Mexican, but who knows? Who knows? We are not like, judging. That's 2170 trophies. That's more than me right now. I'm at like 2080. So if I pull out a win, I could get a lot of trophies. He's just collecting elixir there. Not too worried right now. Um, he throws down his giant. So I'm going to throw down mine right there along with, along with my box. And then he throws that. Now that has screwed me over so much. Like, you would not believe it. Um, so he's going to come in with this. Now, this is probably going to be a bad match. I'll just throw that for a little distraction. He's already going to take out my power. I just know it now. So there goes that power. This is going to be bad match so far. So, uh... Yeah, it looks like he's going to win as well. There's no chance. And he's already going good game. He thinks he has it in the bag, which he does. So, as you can tell, every time they throw the Inferno Dragon at me, see, that's what I'm talking about. I keep dropping in trophies because guys like these, they come in with cards I don't even have and just start whipping it out. Like, there's no time at all. Like, it's just bang bang, you're done, get out. So there was no way I had any chance with that. My only chance was throwing down the skeleton army, taking that out with the musketeer, but didn't have enough for that. So we'll go through a battle, see if I can win this one. Every time they throw an inferno dragon at me, I'm screwed though. Um he has a giant skeleton, I'm not too worried about that. Um, we'll, we'll throw it out my hog that way, followed by my musketeer. Um, wait for my skeleton army to go back. And I'll just pop it right there. And there goes the skeleton. His bomb's gonna blow up. We really wish I'm probably throwing my back there to take out those troops. And so I have a couple hits on each tower. Uh, he's probably has a mirror, because who throws down Arby, but, okay. I swore I had the wizard, but, you know. Um, he's gonna take down the wizard with the fence, but, um, he's gonna do it. So, he's just gonna take that out, so. We got about a minute 55 left, um. Nothing too dramatic, he can just fight about that, he will play. Um, we'll have my steady stream of trusty goblins and take out his archers, which they do a great deal of damage. That's an underestimated card, like, I use that every so often. It's a very underestimated card, because, like, it does a lot of damage. Both of them do a lot of damage, and that is my thing. So, we got... He's got coming in hot. My goblin's trying to take it out. He's got two rocks coming in hot. I just threw my rock right there. He's gonna rage. And, uh, the person known for raging is White Glaive. Whenever he loses to me, he rage quits me. So we got a push coming here. We got my royal giant going right now. And we will throw that down just. Just to take out his friends. That's the good thing about striking enemies. They take big hitting troops out really fast. And it's lucky. And uh, he throws another fireball. That's how he's gonna do it now. So, yep. 
I'm just gonna double tap about that. What's going on? I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll take down his pants and I'll do it. Um, we got two feet going at the same power. So we took down a great deal on just that one push. We will have that gone. We'll have so right there, I don't feel like this to see if they can like hit the top of And he's just here with him. And he's down for the second thing. So once that witch is down, he took out my wizard. And we'll just throw down the fire driver. It is not over. So I'm going to drop that. And one hit, we die. So that was a live battle, it looks like it would have been bad from the beginning, but uh, we pulled through, gained our choices back from that, uh, from that terrible battle in the beginning, but uh, we got more than we started with, so that that's a good day, so I'll leave you guys off with that, so have a, have a decent day.